Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about a pretty serious issue to, on tonight's show about the uh, the murder of three uh, young girls in the United Kingdom and the riots it pursued, and the way that uh, you can't even talk about it really in the United Kingdom without being arrested. So, uh, you know, if I put this show out in the United Kingdom, they might, they might arrest me. So, uh, anyway, stick around, and listen. So uh, we're going to talk about um, these recent events, the English riots. Um, you know, uh, there was a person, uh, I can't really pronounce his name, but something like uh, Axel Rude Cabana. I'm going to call him Rude Cabana because it's, uh, it's a vulgar and uh, mocking uh, description of this arsehole who murdered, uh, he went on a stabbing spree, murdered three young children, uh, English children. Um, you know, he was some Rwandan um, uh, refugee or the children of, of Rwandan immigrants. They say he's Welsh because he was born in Wales. He's not Welsh. He's not Welsh, okay? Just, you know, he is Rwandan, okay? So that's it. So uh, he's Rwandan. And, um, you know, he... Uh, I don't know what, what ideology motivated him. Uh, apparently he's not a Muslim, but like, um, you know, that's maybe being covered up. Maybe he was radicalized online because there was another other attack or planned attack in Vienna that was going to be an attack upon uh, Taylor Swift concert. You know, the event in the United Kingdom um, was a kind of, you know, Taylor Swift uh, kind of, you know, dancing class or whatever for young girls. Uh, and obviously there was the Ariana Grande attack, um, you know, at her concert. You know, it's this targeting of young white girls by, um, you know, ethnic immigrants. I mean, it's, this has become, you know, obviously it's a huge issue because it's the kind of issue that, you know, uh, essentially um, the ethnic, uh, the local ethnic English population aren't going to stand for. And they didn't, ladies and gentlemen. They went on a gigantic riot. Um, and, uh, you know, when multiculturalism reaches this stage where the local indigenous uh, population that used to rule that country is now being attacked and murdered, you know, you have a situation similar to what Enoch Powell was talking about, where there's going to be rivers of blood, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see that the uh, the new kind of socialist government of uh, uh, Starmer is trying to put a lid on it all. Um, and how he's doing it is he's trying to arrest anybody who complains about it or uh, or talks about it or, or what he considers to be, um, you know, I, I don't know, what's that word? Uh, riling up the situation or uh, invoking it. Um you know, I mean, uh, you've got people like Tommy Robinson over in the United Kingdom who's been trying to tell the truth about this topic for a long time. I mean, you know, this whole stuff that diversity is our strength, is, we all know, is, is a lie. Um, you know, it, it's all about essentially destroying the homelands of, uh, of, of essentially European people. I mean, you know, I mean, French people live in France, we used to think. German people live in Germany. Italian people, they live in Italy. And sometimes they would come to different countries and you would have to say, some French people living here or whatever, fine, but they were French, okay? You know what I mean? So it's not really that hard to understand. I mean, we understand that Chinese people live in China, don't we? And we understand that Japanese people live in Japan. It's not really, you know, I, I, you know my parents could have moved to Japan. For example, I could have been born in Japan, but I'm not Japanese, okay? I'm just not. I would have been an Australian who was born in Japan, okay? So you've got a Rwandan guy who's born in England, born in Wales, who's, you know, for whatever reason, whether he's been radicalised or whether he was just mentally insane, has attacked, um, you know, and they, they used a photo of him, you know, uh, famously, like him as a 12 year old boy, when the actual, when you actually see the, the, the pic, real picture of him today, he, you know, he's now uh, 18, 19 and, and looks like uh, some kind of monster, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, this whole situation is incredibly suspicious. And, you know, I can't see these attacks stopping. So this situation is going to get worse. And, you know, Keir Starmer's answer is to go full 1984 to arrest people. And what's incredible is over in the UK, there are people who are committing stabbing crimes and sexual, you know, molestation crimes. And they're being told that they can be let go if they say sorry. But people who, you know, might, you know, might have provoked or said something incendiary online, apropos these recent riots, they're being dragged before a justice within two weeks and given two years jail or, or 18 months jail. Straight away, and it's broadcast on the news. So this is, you know, I mean, it reminds me of Clockwork Orange when, um, you know, one of the, uh, you know, they're talking about prisons and they say they want to get the real criminals out because the, the jails are going to be needed for political prisoners. Because that's exactly what's happening. We're in the future. We're in this dystopian future of a Clockwork Orange, ladies and gentlemen. Real criminals are being emptied out of the jails 
and they're going to be filling the jails with political prisoners. So, you know, I mean, look, for example, there was a guy who threw a concrete, um, you know, uh, block at uh, Nigel Farage, got a suspended sentence. But some guy who said something about Allah, Allah is fake or something, he said, um, you know, Allah is... Uh, who the fuck is Allah? Who the fuck is Allah? Apparently he said, you know, he said something like that. He, uh, you know, uh, has got uh, jail, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a kind of two-tier system. Basically, you can ride and protest if you're Muslim or if you're from some uh, ethnic minority. Uh, to do with Black Lives Matter, you can protest and write all you like. But if you're a, an English nationalist or if you're white, you can't. There's a two-tier legal system. And that is extraordinary. And that's incredibly racist, ladies and gentlemen. And it just goes to show that something else nefarious is going on. And uh, I think we all know what it is. So that's where we're at. It's hideous and it's ugly. And, um, you know, and it's insane, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we need a return to normalcy and we need to um, deport people who are a threat to our country and uh, it certainly sounds like this guy uh, this Rwandan guy even though he was born in Wales should have been deported a long time ago ladies and gentlemen so there it is the report for Tiger Mountain on the tragedy and the tragic situation uh, that's going on in the United Kingdom